Well, another big story we're following tonight, Baltimore City Council President Brandon Scott now calling on the governor to get a mail-in ballot to every eligible voter for the general election in November. And it comes as council members discuss tonight whether or not the city is actually prepared for the upcoming election. This, of course, following problems with the primary ballots being mailed out. WJZ is live. Kelsey Kushner with the details on this story. Kelsey. Yeah, Rick. Well, tonight we heard from the state elections administrator. This is Council President Brandon Scott says he wants this upcoming election to go as smoothly as possible. Baltimore City Council President Brandon Scott is raising concerns over the upcoming election. Wednesday, in a virtual meeting, the Legislative Investigations Committee held an oversight oh, hearing on the Board of accurate. Elections to ensure their preparedness for the general election on November 3rd. Scott says after the mistakes in the primary, he's concerned the city's not ready. We had some hiccups during that election. Earlier this month, Governor Larry Hogan requested all eligible voters be mailed an application to request an absentee ballot. But Scott says in Instead, every eligible voter should receive an absentee ballot in the mail. In a letter to the governor, he says, forcing Marylanders to submit multiple mailings so that they can exercise their right to vote by mail will lead to unnecessary confusion and reduce voter participation. Some say they agree with Scott. But I do think it could be confusing because now we get something that's really a request for a ballot. Um, when it, it, you might think that it's really a ballot. Scott says he's also concerned about in-person voting during a pandemic. State Elections Administrator Linda Lamone says the Board of Elections is still working to find voting centers large enough to comply with social distancing. We're finding that a lot of the private facilities are going to decline to allow us to use their facilities in November. But whether it's in person or by mail, some voters say they just want to make sure it's done right. I think it shouldn't matter. As long as it's, they have it in working sufficient. Now, Lamone says that there are no concrete plans that are in place. She says they still need to figure out money, staffing, and location. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kirshner for WJC.